Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and as promised, today we are going to take a look in on the outside bin that is now inside. I have no idea what's alive in here and not. As you can tell, they have not eaten the most recent feeding. Let me get you set up on the tripod, and let's take a look and see what's going on. The current plan is to take the stuff from here and put it over here in order to get to the bottom. If there's castings, we'll harvest the castings. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, just have a look, and I'm taking you with me. Okay, so I'm gonna take all the food out. Got some hamburger buns and tomatoes and weeds. And let's see, right away, I'm seeing underneath the apple, I'm seeing some wormies and some pill bugs. had put a pair of jeans in here which looks super popular. Is this jeans? Yeah, I think this is jeans. The worms survived because they were out in the the cold weather that was well well below freezing. Um, probably as much as 10 or 20 degrees below freezing. Well, looks like I'm trying to grow a, an onion. Like I said, we're just gonna, we're gonna go through here and see what there is, you know, aside from the normal compost bin things, I'm not sure what else kind of critters got in here because I was not trying to prevent it. Uh, the holes in the top are about a quarter of an inch, so I didn't see anything, you know, like a raccoon or anything that tried to pry into it. But what I do see here is a snail. Spoiler alert, he's not going to make it. But it looks like the worms have done a decent job in here. I wasn't sure if I would have any worms left and it would just be cocoons after getting down into the teens a couple days and that's Fahrenheit of course um, but it looks like you know we do have good worms uh, live worms um, good amount of pill bugs I don't know if I would call any of this finished though but so it is a little wet So I do have some leaves that I'm going to put in here and maybe make this a little fluffier. So I'm glad that it has survived and that the worms are, you know, it seems like I've got more worms than I started with, so that's a bonus. You know, should I have dragged it in the house? I don't know. Kind of a control freak. I don't like things happening that I don't know what's happening and if it's frozen solid I can't look in on it oh good lord wow don't know what that is anybody does anybody know what that is it's gonna go back outside I mean it could be a butterfly or or something cool it won't get the same treatment as the slug I will toss that in one of my uh, outside pots that's still outside. But now that I've seen that large God knows what it is thing, uh, I do feel the need to actually go through this a little bit more carefully than I thought I was going to. You know, I didn't really think that I needed to go through every square inch of this, but now that I've found the huge whatever that is, I'm gonna look because just in case there are other unknown creatures that I don't want hatching in my basement, now I feel the need to know. So bear with me while I struggle through this very wet uh, worm bin here. and It's very heavy. Yeah, I, I made the off comment to my husband. I was like, you know, I'm not sure if I can stand to have that outside all winter. Next thing I know, he's like, where do you want to put it? And he's already got it on the porch. This thing's got to weigh 80 pounds. Easily. I'm just dragging it. I am not picking it up. 
Alright, so, so far we've only found two weird things. The slug and that cocoon of whatever it is. Uh, just seeing pill bugs. I may have seen a spider, but I'm not sure. The castings are really dark. And uh, so I, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if I'm going to have to change the lighting post-editing or not, if this is going to work. I think in the future I'll get it its own little light. So that, you know, you guys can see as well as I can. All right, and I'm pretty confident I don't see anything else that's super weird at this point. Um, so I think I'm going to take the stuff that was already in here and put it in the bottom. I'm not really sure how many worms I think are in here. Maybe a pound, maybe more just because it's hard to tell. But yeah, I'm just going to drag this off to one side in the wormery and uh, let it roll as I cover that up and uh, I'm going to get it some some leaves to incorporate as well. My husband bought a, I don't know what it's called, if he watches this video he can comment and tell you what it is, but it's kind of a big vacuum cleaner for leaves that pulls behind the, the riding mower and it chops them up pretty good here. I mean there are still some leaves that are kind of um, big but it does a pretty good job and it's a lot easier than the basically a weed whacker in a bucket that I was doing before. Probably should have started with the leaves but I'm gonna put the, this will be good for right now. They're fine. Alright guys, if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day. <laughs>